17,242. That was the total number of animals euthanized in El Paso during 2009 alone. All animal euthanizations take place at Animal Services, located on Fred Wilson Road. It is the center, and at this location is the turning in of strays and found pets and animals that are no longer wanted. Before the center opens, families with animals in arms line outside of the doors. Due to privacy issues, no videotaping, recording, or photographing was allowed in the facility. However, we spoke with local mother and pet owner, Doris Sanders, as to why the rate in El Paso is so high. People have nowhere to take them to. Uh, the shelters are so full, there's nowhere to take them. Because of the new law, I'm saying. I don't know. Where we live, it, it's just people don't care. I mean, they'll, have, they'll breed their dogs and bring me 15 puppies and tell me, either I'm going to let them die or you take them. And I'll take them and find home for all of them. It's irresponsible pets owners not getting their dogs fixed or cats fixed animals taken to the animal shelter if microchipped will stay a total of six days if they are not microchipped they will stay three days if no one picks them up to adopt them they will be euthanized next door to the animal control center is the humane society a no-kill shelter we spoke with Melissa Rodriguez. If the community can't take care of their pets anymore, for whatever reason, they're moving, they can't afford them, um, you name it, we've heard every reason, um, then we'll take them in and we'll put them up for adoption. So they have to be owner surrendered, though we do work closely with animal services um, because there they only have a short, I guess, time period to where they keep the pets there. And when it comes to become their time is up, then we transfer over to here. Um, assuming that we have room for everybody. It's rewarding to know that the pets are here until they get adopted and it's not okay you've been here five months we're gonna have to put you down so we can get somebody else in you know and that's that's been great to be here to see the change. You keep having the same animals here are people gonna want to adopt because they're just gonna be seeing the same faces over and over again. So what we do is we'll do adoption promotions every month Volunteer Mike Thompson agrees. Most of our dogs have been here at least a month, which is too long to begin with. Um, pretty much, it's it's just a day-to-day -day thing where you just get used to them. Uh, since we're a no-kill shelter, we do see them a lot, and they're always here. Get to reach out to schools, to kids, and um, I started the summer camp, which is going on right now for kids. So I don't know. It just. This isn't what I had planned, but I never knew this position existed. They're just trying to push to help save more lives, whether it be at their shelter, because you can adopt there, or here. El Paso resident Amber Burden came to the Humane Society because she felt it was a safer alternative for adopting her pet. These cats already come with shots and microchipped and neutered, so it's... Just safer. Yeah, it really is. <sighs> Got you. Got you. As many stray animals we see, might as well get it microchip just in case. Animals are available for adoption always at the Humane Society and Animal Control Center.